This is a video game console by Sui, the blockchain. It is a handheld portable device that they're calling the Sui Boy. Just like the Game Boy, it's called the Sui Boy. All right, that's not the real name, but it is something they should consider. And I'm gonna talk about this and other big announcements that were made during Sui Basecamp. Now Sui Basecamp was this two day crypto conference in Paris where they announced all the biggest things that are coming out over the next year regarding the Sui blockchain. So you're gonna wanna watch this entire video so you leave as excited as I am about what they're building. But of course, this is not financial advice. This is just my own personal opinion. Additionally, this video is sponsored by the Sui Foundation. They want me to talk about what they're building and to share that with you, the audience. Now, that's why we're not really gonna talk about price, but I am an investor for the long term because of what they're building. So with those disclaimers out of the way, let's jump in to the big announcements. Number one, the Sui Boy, AKA, the Sui Play 0X1, that is the real name. Now this portable gaming device supports both Web 2 and Web 3 games. You can play any PC or mobile game on here. You can even play things from the Steam Store. Because with other devices, like the Steam Deck, you're limited to just the Steam Store. With the Sui Play 0X1, you're not limited by that at all. And that's the problem with Web 3 games. A lot of the Play Stores don't allow you to have crypto games that use Web3 elements like NFTs or cryptocurrencies. So this could open up the doors for a lot more gamers to start getting involved with Web3 without all the different hurdles. Because with Sui, you can create a wallet instantly. You can tie that to your Google account, your Twitch account, any social login. So I'm very excited about what they're building here. As for other details like specs and pricing, those are still not yet confirmed, but after talking to the team, I got a general idea of it. It's gonna be somewhere between $300 to $800, and that's tiered pricing based on the specs of the device you purchase. And from this reaction from Phantom Wallet, I think we can make assumptions that they might be supported too on this device, which would make this potentially multi-chain. It would make a lot of sense, and this device could help everybody in crypto to get their Web3 games in the hands of actual gamers and not just us crypto degens. Now, a little speculation here. If you remember the Solana phone, when that launched, not the best phone, not the best reviews, but a lot of value. Just because each phone was tied to an actual user, people airdropped to those users, and those airdrops became significantly more valuable than the cost of the phone by thousands and thousands of dollars. So potentially, we could see the same thing happen here with the Sui Play 0X1, Sui Boy, and by being one of the early owners and being a user and just to get your attention, we could see some airdrops there too. So I will absolutely be purchasing one when that launches in 2025. So there is some time until that happens. Now, as for why this matters, well, if you think about crypto, most of the attention is fought over the same crypto users. There aren't a lot of new users coming in. And to bring in new users, we need different methods like this. There are a lot of gamers out there. If they had a reason to buy this device that didn't lock them into just the Steam store or the Apple store or the Google Play store, it could open up the potential of mass adoption from people that want to try out Web3 games or just have a little more control over their Web2 games. And that could lead to mass adoption where people are just here to play games on a quality device and they see, hey, I got a crypto wallet here. I got some airdrops. That's nice. Let me try out some of these other games because they gave me some free cryptocurrency and I could potentially earn more by playing these other games as an early user. Now that's just a whole nother thing on airdrops, but that's why I like what Sui is doing. They're innovating to bring in that next generation of users. So that is the Sui Play 0X1. Sui Boy, a handheld portable gaming device that is coming in 2025. All right, I'm at the airport and we're continuing this video here. 
So next up, BirdEye. Now BirdEye is a crypto trading aggregator, so you can see what people are trading on chain. It's in the same realm of crypto trading tools like Dex Screener, and BirdEye now supports Sui. So feel free to check that out if you're looking for new coins to trade on Sui, but uh, yeah, there, there should be more coins dropping very soon. Now some guy is vacuuming right now, and he's coming in this area, so uh, I'm just gonna try to continue talking uh, in, inconspicuously. All right, number three is the Sui SMS, or internetless transactions. Now, Sui has been teasing the internetless transactions for a bit, and I'm guessing the Sui SMS is that. I actually missed this panel, because uh, uh, I went to take a nap, because I'm jet lagged, and uh, yeah, I'm waiting for the official announcement to hear more. But that is pretty crazy that you can make crypto transactions through a text message without the internet. So that is another thing they're working on. Then number four, Mr. Seti. Now, Sui transactions are fast, but they could be a little faster. And they are actually as fast as they can possibly be based on how fast your browser loads the internet. Now, to avoid all the technical jargon here, Mr. Seti just proves to make the transactions faster and more efficient on the Sui blockchain. Number five, the Axelar partnership. Now, Axelar does like cross-chain swaps, very similar to Wormhole. Now, Sui has partnered with Axelar to make Sui the global liquidity layer. Now, to have a liquidity layer, you need liquidity and you need an ultra-fast blockchain, and that's Sui. So Sui is gonna be the home base for liquidity to facilitate all these cross-chain transactions. That means the bridging is done through Axelar Squid Router, and they use Sui to move funds between different blockchains. Then we have FDUSD, the first digital US dollar, which wasn't really the first one. I think that was USDT. Well, that's the name of it, FDUSD. And if you're familiar with Binance USD, that's what replaced it when Binance USD or BUSD could no longer continue due to legal scrutiny. Then FDUSD came in to replace BUSD on the Binance platform. Now, first digital US dollar, FDUSD, is coming to Sui as the first native stablecoin there. So Sui has not had a stablecoin, it's just had bridged USDC, and that kind of limits what you can do there. So first digital is uh, taking the lead on that, and they also tease that more stablecoins will be coming to Sui in the near future. Now, number six, Anoki. This is a big announcement because it's a lot of things. It could be its own video because of all the different services Anoki can do, but we're gonna jump into some of it and I might oversimplify things just because my understanding of it is still very limited. But I was actually at the panel, as you can see, I did record some of it on my phone and I did take some notes. Now, Anoki provides all these different services to people in crypto, in Web 2, in Web 3, in businesses. They just kind of simplify things, and it is due to a combination of decentralized identity and shared data. That is the simple way of saying things. So, let's say you have a Sui identity through Anoki, and you are using multiple services. You're using Hulu, you're using... Disney Plus, you're using HBO Max, and let's say you have to update your credit card information or any type of payment information, you would have to do that on every single platform. With Anoki, it abstracts all of that and points all those different payment methods to your own user identity, or in that sense, and then you would just have to update your payment information once. Let's say you move and you need to change your address, you would have to change it on every platform. Anoki simplifies all of that. Now, Anoki isn't just a decentralized identity, it is a lot more than that. So we're gonna look at a few more examples. So as you may know, there's Sui NS, that's Sui name service, that's something like fullvaluedan.sui. Now, if I have a corporation or just a business and I have other employees under me, I'd be able to give them subdomains. And I'm sure you're familiar with subdomains, normally looks something like business1.google.com, something like that, where you would include the subdomain before the actual domain. 
So subdomains work a little differently with a no key. So my sui ns name is full value dan dot sui. If I add somebody to it, like person one dot full value dan dot sui, it wouldn't look like that. It would look like person one at full value dan. That's it. So Anoki simplifies the name service for businesses or people that just want to uh, create multiple users under a single domain. There's also other features like time capsule. You can time lock when someone claims an NFT. So let's say you give out a bunch of NFTs, but it won't be revealed what it is until Christmas. You can do that with Anoki. You can set these conditions for NFTs. You can also abstract information from these NFTs. Let's say you publish a book on chain and you want people to read the first chapter for free, but you don't want to give them the whole book, you would be able to show just the first chapter to potential users using Anoki. Or let's say you have a crypto mailing list with all the top trending things. You could give people a weekly sampler and if they want to uncover everything, then they would have to subscribe or purchase the NFT and Anoki helps make that happen. There's a lot more use cases and examples. We're just lightly jumping into that. If you want to learn more, let me know in the comments and maybe we'll do a full deep dive video on that. Yeah, or whatever else you'd be interested in, especially in the Sui ecosystem, since this is a Sui sponsored video. And one more big announcement, Byte Plus empowering Web3 with Sui, eyeing gaming and SocialFi. So there is a partnership between Byte Plus and Sui. And if you're not familiar with Byte Plus, they are a subsidiary of Byte Dance. Now, Byte Dance might sound familiar because that's the parent company of TikTok which is also called Douyin in China. And that's because ByteDance specializes in its algorithm for recommendations. So with products such as Recommendation Engine and Video Effects, BytePlus gives Sui builders new capabilities. So more details on this partnership, BytePlus will work with Mistin Labs to adapt its recommendation solutions and augmented reality products, among other services, to Sui. Now, TikTok is addicting because its recommendation system is amazing. It's going to find the content users want to watch. And with that power in the Sui ecosystem, it could be big. And hopefully this partnership starts working the other way around too, where maybe in the future, something on TikTok starts using Sui technology. That is just my thoughts. So there's no rumors about that, but this could be a very big partnership. And if you've been using Sui, you know that they really focus on user experience and innovation. They're not afraid to try new things, which is why I like working with Sui, which is why I have been a Sui investor, but that doesn't guarantee the price of Sui will go up. No, there is no guarantees. But if this picks up and people like using their services and like using their new innovative tools, like their gaming device, like a Noki for business solutions, then you could have something. And a lot of the potential really comes from the smaller projects that don't have these billion dollar fully diluted valuations. The opportunities I'm looking for right now are on chain for the new builders out there, which is why I went to Sweet Basecamp to find out who's the new builder and how do I participate early. Now, if this video has been helpful and it hyped you up to uh, get in the Sweet ecosystem, I do have a playlist here where you can learn more about Sui and how to get into the ecosystem. And if this video has been helpful, feel free to hit the like button. I am a little embarrassed to be doing this at the airport. Uh, there are people walking around to the side of me, but uh, I did this because I'm already at the airport and I'm very likely uh, going to take a long time to make content if I don't record it now. All right, with that, I hope you got your full value for today.